All right, everybody. Hello, hello. Here we are. I'm so incredibly excited. When you hop on, say hello and let me know that you are so ready to rock and roll. You guys, I am so just oh, lit up, excited for all of the things that we have here. I literally have had, oh my gosh, you guys. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Val Nichols. I am an entrepreneur. I help other business leaders, um, whether if you're an entrepreneur, a small business, if you are an independent contractor, you know, if you have a brand, right, like a physical product, maybe you have a store. Um, I have clients that are massage therapists that have products. I have a client that just got her first business co client. Ah! And we literally just got off the phone celebrating how she's going to like, boom, create a quick cash injection to manifest $4,000 into her business, which I haven't even shared this with you guys yet. I have like, I haven't even shared this with you yet that, um, one of my clients literally like texted me the other day. I'm just sitting at home, like, you know, whatever. And she texted me and said, Oh my gosh, I just celebrated $7,000. We got to get on the phone and cry and just like, ah. Oh, so cool you guys this is why i love what i do because you know what it gets to be easy it's easy and it gets to be simple and you know like if you're like me um give me a sh first off give me a shout out if you're on here i see there's a couple people on here so i just want to say hi i may not see your comments um i mean i may not see you hop in so let me know you're here because it looks like it's not telling me so i do see there's a couple people on here i want to give you a shout out hello hello i did tag a couple people because um they were looking for the link so i want to make sure that you guys got on here i know there's more people that were looking for it but hopefully we will get to um get everyone in here so they can just dive in you guys what to expect here today is a lot of energy a lot a lot 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 ton of energy um again you know for those of you who haven't been a part of my master class let me know in the comments if this is your first time. I'm gonna pull you guys up on my laptop as well because sometimes I can see comments on my laptop, but not on my phone. So let me just hop this on. Hi, Carrie. Oh my gosh, I was so excited to see that you signed up for this. I feel like it's been four freaking ever since I've seen your beautiful face. So I'm very excited you're here. Hi, Carrie. Hello, hello. Hello to anyone else that's hopping on. Let me know you're here and let me know what are your questions? What are you hoping to learn today about content creation? Because we are going to give you a ton of information in a little amount of time, but don't worry, I'm not going to leave you guys hanging. Um, if you are the type of person that you're like, I have no idea like content creation overwhelms me, right? We have a solution for that. If you are the type of person who's like, you know what? I just wanna show up, I wanna coach, I want to um, do mortgages, I want to do what I do because a lot of times the crazy part about being an entrepreneur is that sometimes it's just you. And I don't mean just you because you're freaking amazing, you're magnificent, you're fabulous, you're beautiful and your butt looks good today. Okay. So if anyone hasn't told you that your butt looks great, um, I can tell. So if, if nobody's told you that, then, um, you know, like we like to do what we do. Teresa. Yay. Oh my goodness. Hello, Teresa. It's so exciting to see you on here. Um, I have been off. It's so funny because I had a master class and I have this client that I'm, I'm doing a big event for tomorrow, which I don't usually work on Saturdays, but I'm really excited about this. Um, I work with T-Mobile. If you guys didn't know that, they they hired me as their, um, I do all of Central Oregon, like Prineville, Redmond, Bend, that Madras. That might not mean anything for some of you guys, but right in the middle of Oregon, I do all of the um, branding, all the marketing for T-Mobile. So I get to do a really fun event tomorrow. And so I took half of Wednesday off and all of yesterday, and I was out at the, um, the lake with my husband and a couple people. So we had a great time. And that's what you get to do when you are an entrepreneur, right? You get to choose. So I wanna hear from you guys. What is it that if you had more time to focus on your business and not like worry about your social media strategy, not worry about content, what would you take back in your life? Like, what would you do? What would that look like? How would you show up if you no longer had to worry, right? If you're like, you don't have to sit at the computer spending 20 minutes to create one post because you already have that information. 
I would love to know what you guys are thinking. And I bet Teresa, I think I know what yours is because, well, maybe I don't. You have a lot. You've got a lot. I've been talking all day, so my throat's a little dry. Let me drink my LaCroix. So what would you do if you didn't have to worry about your content creation, your social media, all of those things, if you could just like have a plan, have a structure, right? Because that's exactly what we're going to teach you today. That's exactly what I'm here to teach you. And what you guys can count on me for is I'm going to give you a lot of information. I'm going to give you the same strategy that I teach my clients. Um, you know, and again, like, I just want to do a disclaimer real fast that each one of us has a different um, plan, a goal, right? So let me know in the comments so that when I get to the question and answer, or if I get to a specific place, I can pause and talk about that. Um, some people's goal is to um, increase their number of Instagram followers, right? Because then if you are, um, I, I don't I don't really like the word influencer because I think it kind of has this weird connotation. But you know, through growing my Instagram over the past 10 months, I've gotten more brand deals where people pay me because of my following, right? Like, because it's a glamor metrics, but if you have a certain strategy in place, it could be to get more sales. It could be to create increase brand awareness. It could be to fill a masterclass. It could be to sell a product. Like what is your specific goal that you have in your business so that we can talk about that? And I will look for your comments here as I pull up our slide show, slide show. You guys, I'm so excited right now. This is so fun. Um, yeah, usually I do my master classes later in the afternoon, but I decided that one o'clock on a Friday feels really good. So let me know if that feels good for you as well. I feel like by four o'clock, if you're like me, um, I'm just ready to like my weekend, right? Like I don't schedule a lot of stuff on Friday anyway but I'm just ready to have my weekend. So let me know if this is a good time for you. What are you guys up to? All the things. One moment, please, as I pull up my slideshow. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna be teaching you guys all about content creation. And again, this is something that each one of you is gonna have a little bit different of a goal. Maybe that's content creation on a blog. That could be um, content creation on Facebook, Instagram, depending upon where your clients are, you will have a different goal in mind. So I'm going to give you little pieces of each one so that you can really look at, okay, what's going to work for me in my, um, in my product, in my service? Like, what am I going to be able to create? And also depending upon age groups, I'll talk about that as well, like age groups of your ideal client. So be thinking about your ideal client so that you can be thinking, okay, am I better off on this platform? Am I better off on this platform? Because that is like one of the biggest questions I get all the time is what platform should I be focusing on? Because there's so many, and I truly believe you don't have to be all over the place doing all the things for everybody. Um, if you know who your niche is, if you know where your client is, focus on that one, right? Like get really good at this one and then you can repurpose, 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 which I'm going to teach you guys today as well. So hang in. We're going to have so much fun. Let me share my screen with you. All right. So welcome everybody to the content creation for entrepreneurs. We're going to talk about how to attract the right people into your business to make more money and more impacts. If you are here for that, let me know. If you are here for that, let me know because here's the deal. Um, it's not just about making the cash, right? Like we can all um, create money and that's what we do in business, right? Like we, we create money, we create experience, we create emotional connection and we make great money. But if you're a heart centered, purpose-driven entrepreneur like I am and like a lot of my clients are, all of my clients are, then what you want to do is you want to create money, income, and impact so that you can do the things that you truly love, right? And content creation is one of those things that people are like, oh, I wish I didn't have to do that. If that's you, let me know. I've talked to so many entrepreneurs that are like, you know what? I just want to coach. I just want to um, be in my, my product. I just want to... Um, get the, you know, like, I just want to get this going. I just want to do what I do. I'm great at it. I just don't know how to articulate that in a way that shares 
what I actually do. So first off, we're gonna talk about the power of three. You guys, this is literally the secret behind what I teach my clients is keep it so freaking simple. Keep it so simple, the power of three. Three characteristics of your ideal client, right? Like you don't have to figure out, you know, some, some people will say you need to know your, your avatar so well that like, you know what they wear, do they shop at J Crew? where do they hang out? Which I mean, those are great things, but if you know three characteristics of your client. So for example, my clients are female entrepreneurs who celebrate every single cell. They celebrate themselves. They know how to, you know, show up in their leadership, to own their time, to not allow their clients to walk all over their boundaries or disrespect their time. They're here to create passion. They're multi-passionate. Sometimes they have ADD, just like I do. Um, sometimes they are just kind of like, you know, they have a lot of different things going on because that's how they, they operate. They're purpose-driven heart-centered entrepreneurs who not just want to make income, but they want to give back. They want to be able to spend time with their family. They want to regain their freedom. So those are the characteristics of my client. And if I know that, it doesn't matter, you know, like what car she drives, who she hangs out with. Like I know the heart of my clients and what they're searching for. I know them so well that I can literally hear them in my mind when I'm creating copy. Right. And this is all about the content creation. When I'm creating content, I can speak to them. And then also the next point is three topics you can teach on. So what are three topics you can teach the heart centered purpose driven entrepreneur now? What are three topics that you can just teach on over and over and over again? Write that down on a piece of paper, three topics. And then next you're going to talk about three subtopics right? The power of three. These are your three threes, where if you write down three characteristics of your client in description, three topics, and then under each one of those topics, you write down three subtopics. What happens is you now have all of this content that you can just repeat over and over and over. Just go down those three to go down the three subtopics and just speak about that over and over again. If that doesn't make sense yet, you might be like, okay, Val, what? Wait, what? I didn't know we were going to do math here. Then um, hang on, because I'm going I'm to break this down a little bit more so that you can actually know how to implement this in your life. Because those of you who know me know that I not only empower you, I, I get you motivated, I get you pumped up, but I'm going to give you the how as well. All right. So for example, let's talk about which one of these holds the most energy for you. If that was my, my main topic, if I was saying, okay, so my topic is about energy, like what feels in alignment for you, what feels good, because that's a huge thing that I offer with my clients is like, what feels good for you? Because I truly believe there's no cookie cutter version of how to build your business or what prices to charge, any of those things, because each one of us is gonna have a different goal, a different um, feeling. We're gonna have a different filter that we're looking at. So I would say, you know, what are, how much energy or how, which one of these holds the most energy for you? And I could say, for example, um, oh goodness, let me check this real quick, okay. So for example, I could say um, pricing and packaging, right? Pricing and packaging. When I talk about pricing and packaging, which one of these holds the most energy for you? Which one of these lights you up? You could spend your time exchanging your hours for money or you could scale your business through your content creation to automate your systems where you no longer have to worry about a launch or making sales because your content is going to sell for you. Does this feel like scary? And like a hell yes? And what do you know that you think everyone 
nose. You guys, this is huge. This is huge because what happens is, you know, as entrepreneurs, as experts in our field, what happens is a lot of times you think like, everyone knows this, right? Like, why would somebody pay me to share this with them or to do this for them or for this product when anybody could go on Google and figure it out or piece it together, right? But honestly, the thing is like, I, when I first started coaching, I didn't want to be a business coach, right? Like I'd spent my entire life obsessed with business, obsessed with um, marketing sales. I had a, um, I started my first business at 11 and then I had a marketing agency for, you know, like 10 years where I was working for huge names, right? Like huge companies doing their marketing, doing tours, doing like guerrilla marketing, all those things. And I was like, why would anybody pay me on how to do marketing? Because everybody knows that. Right. I was too close to it to know that, like, not everybody knows how to do this. And so what is that thing for you? Like, even if as you're writing down your three subtopics, like, what is that for you? That you might think everybody knows this. Everybody knows how to make, um, how to use organic, beautiful products to, um, you know, get rid of mosquitoes or sunburns, right? But not everybody knows that. They're searching for you. And I'll be honest with you guys, it, when you're talking about these topics, sometimes you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I talk about the same stuff over and over and over. And let me tell you, that's actually the key, right? Like that is actually the key to building out your business because the stuff you're talking about, you will think that people, you're like, Oh my gosh, people always, they hear me talk about this all the time, right? They hear me talk about this over and over and over. But the crazy thing is in today's world, you know how they used to say um, it takes seven touches, right? Like it takes seven exposures to your brand for people to actually buy from you. Now it is literally more than like, I think it's 11 or 12 touches that they're saying. Like people need to hear the same message over and over and over again. Think about your kids, right? How many times do you have to tell your kids or insert husband, insert employee, I don't know, whatever that is. How many times do you have to tell them the same message over and over and over? That is exactly how your clients are. Because think about this, um, you are, so think about in your own development, whether if that's your professional development, if that's in your business development, if that's in developing your product or service, right? Like think about um, your own process of getting there, right? So think about, you know, when you first got up in the morning, um, when you were building out your product, when you were starting your business, your why, your passion, all of that. And just think about how long it took you from, from idea to actual execution. And then think about your clients and where they're at right now. They're going to go through their own process. And sometimes you guys, there's people that watch my lives or watch my content for years and they don't even like comments. I, I don't know who they are. They don't comment on my stuff. They don't actually like interact a lot, but then they'll inbox me and say, Hey, I'm ready. I've been watching you. I know your style. I want to work with you. How do I work with you one-on-one? -on -one? Right. And because they were going through their own stuff, they were going through their own process to get to there. So just know that when we're talking about content creation, yeah, you might be literally lather, rinsing, repeating the same information, the same topic, the same subtopics, but people need to hear that because what if there's someone that's just landing on your page for the very first time, you literally, I think it was um, Prince EA. If you guys don't know who he is, he is amazing, incredible, like motivational speaker. He said that he treats every single piece of content as if it was someone's first experience with him and it'll be the last piece of content that he ever creates. And he treats every single piece of content just like that. So I'm not expecting you guys to like, you know, 
put your all, do everything, spend hours on social media because keep it simple. You do not need to reinvent the wheel because it's already been done, right? Like you, your topics, your subtopics, if you write those down, you will easily create a ton of information that you can talk about. Let me share my screen again. All right, so your client's three topics. When we talk about your clients, what are the three main characteristics of your clients? Are they professional? Are they students? Are they retired? Are they male, female? Do they work in corporates? Are they small business owners? Like, what are they? Like, you know, this might vary, um, you know, because I mostly do, I work with women, right? I say I work with female entrepreneurs. I have a couple male clients, right? Like T-Mobile, the guy that hired me is a male, like a male, he's out of Portland. Um, I work with a male and female couple that, you know, like they're a team. So I work with him on like consulting side. And then I do a lot with her for like marketing and stuff like that. So, you know, like, yeah, I market to women. My, my brand is pretty, it's pink. It's, um, it is what it is, but will I get a male? Absolutely. I have a couple men that follow me that are that love my content, right? They love everything I do. And a lot of times, if I don't feel like we're a good fit to work one-on-one, -on -one, this happened just the other week, I referred him to someone else. But you know, who are your clients? What are their main characteristics? Are they into personal development? Are they into um, natural products? Are they into, are they looking to buy a home? Like what is their characteristics? Who are they specifically? And just know that when I say this, like you are not going to limit right? But you want to speak directly to that person. This is not going to limit you in your interaction, but this is what's going to bring in the people with the, the three M's, I call it. The means, the motivation, and the money to actually buy from you. By defining their characteristics, this is how you discover and you draw in your ideal clients who are going to be raving fans, who are then going to um, you know, like refer you to other people, stay with you for years, if that's, you know, your structure, your strategy, but they're going to become raving fans who are now promoting for you. And so your content now doesn't even have to sell at that point. So when we talk about three topics to talk about, let's say, for example, um, if you were a, an executive coach and maybe you talk about public speaking, leadership, and personal development. Right, so if those are our three topics, figure out, write down what yours are. But if we talk about public speaking, leadership and personal development, this is an example of what that might look like. Your power of three. So your three subtopics, number one was public speaking. Example, as a student living in the world of Zoom calls and digital communications, it is more important than ever to be able to speak well. Does that make sense? Let me know in the comments if that makes sense. Because for example, I could start my post off with, as a student of living in the world of Zoom calls and digital communications, it is more important than ever to be able to speak well. So let me share with you a time that I did not communicate well and I ended up losing a client because I wasn't able to articulate the transformation they were going to get. The reason why this is so important is because if you are a leader in this modern day world of Zoom calls and digital communications, if you can't speak well and actually articulate what it is you do and the transformation you're going to expect, you will end up getting a ton of people that love your content. They might tell you how inspiring you are or how much they love your content, but they're not actually going to convert into sales. This is why public speaking is so important in the modern day world of Zoom calls and digital communications. Make sense? All right, another subtopic, leadership. Example would be, the world today seems flat. It is as if we are globally connected, so globally connected that all you have to do is lift your cell phone and connect with someone in Germany, Australia, or scroll through the jungle of Africa with just one swipe. That is why developing your leadership skills is more important than ever. 
because we've entered a, into the world of a global economy. Interesting, right? I'm speaking to the person that is a global market. Maybe you have a product that you're shipping out around the world, around the country. Maybe you're interacting with people from all over because you know what, even right here in tiny little central Oregon, we have people from all over the world moving here. And if I don't develop my leadership, I'm not able to communicate. Subtopic example number three, personal development. The example could be if you are sick of watching YouTube videos and investing more in Grubhub than humanly possible, maybe it's time for a change. Instead of developing your latest TikTok, why not spend an hour with actual humans and develop yourself and grow your business? This would be an example, like, like let's say if I was talking to a Gen Z person who is, you know, they're the ones who are using Grubhub, they're um, on TikTok. They are very connected socially, but not in person. So if I'm offering a um, mastermind for you know, people who are 20 to 30, this could be a great intro into why personal development is important. Do you see how I spoke to their language, right? They're watching YouTube videos. They're at home more now because of the past year. Um, they're not, you know, they're not like um, buying groceries. They're more of like the Grubhub, DoorDash type people and they're spending a lot of time on TikTok, right? So this is like based on their behavioral characteristics, I'm speaking to them. Whereas if I did a post like, hey, I've got a new mastermind coming out. Um, it's really important to develop your personal leadership. Message me if you want in. That's not gonna speak to them as well as if I really dive in, get into their world, speak their language. All right, other ideas on where to find, um, I put new members, I met new clients. This was a presentation I did. So, um, you know, look at Chamber of Commerce events. If you guys are looking for like, where do I post content? Where am I advertising my stuff? Chamber of Commerce, Commerce events, boards, meetup.com, Facebook, Instagram, and that should say um, YouTube, not Facebook, but the top three, like I'm just going to talk about the top three today when we talk about social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. So you want to show, show the culture of your business, show the fun and create FOMO. That means fear of missing out, right? So you want to like show your brand, your product, your service in such a way that people, you create a curiosity. You create people saying like, I wonder what that is. And I want to be a part of that. Right? You can also explain what to expect from your product and service. If you have a product or service that needs a little more explanation, definitely explain that. You can create content explaining the difference between um, an FDA loan and a um, first time home buyer. Or you can explain the difference between Arnica and CBD, right? Like be creating content around that, be educating in your content, which I'm gonna share with you guys the four topics to be sharing on. Um, in just a moment. Share your word of the day, right? Like, let's say you wake up and you're like, you know, my word of the day today is connection. The reason why I chose connection is because I knew I was going to be connecting with a new client who, whose event I'm doing. I also got to connect with another client who's growing her business and celebrating huge wins. And then I get to connect with my mastermind, like my masterclass right here, right now. So my word of the day today is connection. Share common misconceptions you hear about your business or industry. What are those? I know you hear them because like we hear them, right? This could be even be the same thing that when you look around at your competitors or other people who are in industry, the thing that really fires you up, right? For me, let's be honest. It's the narcissistic marketing tactics that I see on some of the social platforms. Like if you had a friend that only talked to you when they wanted something, when they wanted you to buy something and they would love bomb you. And then the moment you didn't do what they wanted. They just like cut you off. That's called narcissism. And so for me, it drives me crazy to see the narcissistic way 
that a lot of people are marketing, right? That fires me up. I create content around it, right? Like um, business boundaries, personal boundaries, very important in my business. I create content around that, right? So take a look at the things that you're not only passionate about, but what are the things that drive you crazy, right? Like, let's say, um, just because I, I know Teresa, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use you as an example for a moment, but like, let's say, you know, why is Arnica better than CBD, right? Like there's a huge craze. Let's just call this out. There's a huge craze of CBD. But the thing is, I know you've created one raving fan on the Arnica oil. Every one of my family has her little pots of, of Arnica oil. And you know, like what is the misconception you hear? Or what is it that you're seeing in the industry that people are doing that you're like, this is crazy, right? Like if you want to have a whole bunch of chemicals mixed with your CBD or whatever, like go for it. But if you want a natural way that, you know, you can trust putting on your child or, you know, if you get it in your mouth, I don't know, like I'm kind of just rifting here, but if you, you know, something that fires you up about the industry that you're in and like create content around that, that is some of the best content I've ever had. That's had the most interaction is when I'm fired up about something and I hit live or I start typing out content. Literally, I have gotten clients off of, I remember one post where I was just like fired up about something and I posted it and I ended up making like $7,000 off that post and I was fired up. After I was done, I was like, oh my gosh, I should probably delete that because it, you know, like, I don't know, maybe people will misinterpret it, but I, I made $7,000 off one post because I hit life during that, that like thing. So think about that for yourself. Like, what is that for you that fires you up in your industry? Ah, thank you for the hearts, you guys. You're amazing. And let me know if you have any questions too in the comments. I'm gonna come back and like do a Q and A here very soon. So let me know if you have any questions. All right, the four types of content to create. Again, you guys, it's so much easier than we're making it. We get stuck in our head thinking we have to create this complicated strategy. But now that you have those three, three characteristics, three topics, three subtopics, now you're just gonna create categories. Like you guys could literally jot this out on a piece of paper today and have your content for the rest of your life. No joke. Educate, inspire, entertain, and then call them to action. Again, educate, inspire, entertain, motivate to action. If you use this simple recipe, you will have content for the rest of your life. So let's say it's Monday and you're like, okay, it's education time, great. So I'm gonna educate you on the difference between CBD and Arnica oil. It's education day. So I'm going to educate you on the difference between doing a live masterclass like this and automating a masterclass because either one of them could bring in potential clients. Either one of them could make you a ton of money. So what's the difference? Inspire right? These are the ones where you, you share quotes you saw, you share those videos that you saw, you know, you don't always have to be creating the contents, right? You can share other people's content and become the news source. Think about it that way. You're becoming the news source for your ideal client where they're like, I've got to go back. I've got to find the newest things. I've got to find, you know, inspiration around this idea. I've got to find inspiration around that. So there is nothing wrong with sharing an inspiring quote that you absolutely love. Just don't be doing that all of the time without explaining why it inspires you. So if you share a Martin Luther King quote, great. Go the extra step of just saying, gosh, guys, I came across this this morning and it really speaks to me. I would love to share this quote. What are your thoughts or what's your favorite Martin Luther King quote or what's your favorite inspirational quote? Right. I did a thread one time where I said, what's your favorite inspirational quote 
And it went on for months and months and months until I finally was like, I can't even keep up with all these messages, like comments, I'm just going to stop. Entertain. These are the funny cat videos. This is you doing something funny. Maybe you're, you know, you get on a live and you're entertaining them. You're talking about something and, you know, maybe you talk about your product too, but like you want to entertain people as well. This doesn't mean you have to go on TikTok and create silly dance videos or do anything wild like that just to get attention. However, if you want to, if that's your strategy, great get attention, go look at the Kardashians. They're great at that type of marketing. Not my style, but you know what? Like every once in a while, yeah, I'll post a picture of me out at the lake like yesterday or catching a fish or doing something silly with my husband. Like I entertain as well as educate, inspire and motivate to action. Lastly, motivate to action. This is if you equal out each one of these and do each one of these 25% of the time, you will see results. And when I talk about motivating to action, I know I have a little silly picture of a dog here. I wanna look at you guys again. So when I talk about motivating to action, you're doing one of two things, right? This is not always a sales post. This isn't always promoting or making an offer. It can be. Absolutely. But you want to strike that fine balance of, I kind of use more of like the 70, 30 rule. So 70% of the time I'm educating, entertaining, or inspiring. And then 30% of the time I'm doing a call to action, right? And a call to action isn't just saying like, here's my offer, message me if you want it, or here's the link. Um, I have one coaching space open, message me, or, you know, we have one spot open for done for you, social media. Let me know if you want it. Right. Like I'm not always just saying that when you talk about motivating people to action, there are two different ways you do this. And this is where a lot of people get this wrong, right? Nobody likes the person that is just constantly, you know, like their profile picture is their business logo Every single thing they post is about, you know, me, 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 buy for me, buy for me, buy for me. That doesn't feel good, right? Like you, you usually don't end up going back and becoming a raving fan because you're like, who's the person, right? Like people buy from real human beings. They want to know, like, and trust you, right? So that's why social media is such a powerful tool to show who you really are. Show the human being behind the brand, show behind the scene looks and when you're calling to action, you're doing one of two things. Write this down. You're either making an invitation for someone to move towards you, right? Maybe it's a cause you care about. Maybe it's something like this summer, um, I'm planning this, this garage sale where it's called the blessing corner. And this is literally like a free yard sale where people come and they're going to, if they're, you know, if they need new school clothes, if they need baby clothes, they can come and they can fill up a bag with whatever they need. We have like tons of donations coming in and they're just blessed, right? Like in nothing in return, they're in need. They need it. Take what you need and, you know, bring something if you want to donate or bring a can of food. Like maybe I would create an invitation that if, if you want to be a part of this, let me know. I'm inviting you to move toward me, right? If, if you are an entrepreneur who's multi-passionate, who's heart-centered, then move toward me. Come into my space. Come hang out in my wild tribe. Come be in this with me. I want to create a movement in the world. Come be a part of that, right? Like I'm extending that invitation for you to come toward me. And that creates a connection, right? Like who doesn't love it when your best friend or someone messages you and is like, hey, so I've got this thing going. And like, I just, I thought of you. I would love for you to come, like, come with us, come with me to lunch, right? Like how good does that feel? That's how you want your clients to feel. So invite them towards you, toward a movement, towards something you're doing, be a part of something with you. And then the second part of calls to action is motivating them to take action to move with you, right? So they're either, either moving like towards you into something or say, move with me. Where in this space, you show up as the leader. 
right? This is no longer like, hey, we're girlfriends. Let's go have a coffee. Let's do this. Like, this is like, look, I have this to offer. I don't want to sound, I didn't mean to sound so aggressive when I said that, but like, like, this is me. I have leadership. Um, I see you've told me that you are someone who struggles with social media content. I know what that's like because when I first went online three years ago, I was so afraid to be seen that I never went live on my personal page. This is a true story. I was so afraid to talk about my business because I thought people would make fun of me. I didn't fully believe that this was like real yet. And I was, I was worried about judgment. I was worried about what people would think. I see you've told me you're in that same place. And you know, if you wanna just like have your content planned out for you, or if you want my team to do it for you, let me lead you. I want to lead you into this, right? So this is when you're saying like, I'm the leader, I'm the, the, I'm the perfect fit for you, so take action, right? Like if, if you've tried all the CBD and you're just not getting the results yet, like here's the deal. I have a sale right now for 20% off my Arnica oil. Come do it. Here's my website. Use this link. Let's go, right? So instead of being like the extension, the move with me, let's move toward a cause. Let's do this together. It's like, I'm the leader. Here we go. Let's move to like move toward me right? You're challenging them a little bit. You're pulling them out of their comfort zone because remember your clients, your customers are also going through their own stuff, their own resistance, no matter what that is, right? If you have a product, if you have a service, if you're a coach, if you're doing money, if you're doing mortgages, they have their own stuff that they need to go through. And this is when you extend that offer and that percent of people who are ready, who maybe they're on the fence. And when you make that offer, they move towards you right? This is how you close the deal. This is how you make the cash. And this is how you go. Make sense. Let me know if that makes sense. So that's landing so that I'm not just talking at you. I'm talking with you. Hello, Nanette and Pat, my love. I miss you so much. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Aloha. All right, so my favorite, I wanna talk about content content now. Now that we have our topics, now that we have our subtopics, now that we know what categories to write, um, go ahead and just take your phone out and take a snapshot of this or take a screenshot if you're on your phone. I wanna share with you guys some of my favorite apps to create graphics. That's Canva, PicMonkey, they have a paid and a free service. Lightroom, if you wanna create, think about like on Instagram how the, um, some of the um, bloggers like the lifestyle or travel people have like a certain feel and look to each one of their, their uh, pictures. When you see that like really pretty like blue or maybe it's like golden, there's like a tint to it. They're using either Lightroom or, um, um, oh my gosh, I just forgot the name, Lightroom or Photoshop to create filters to create that look and feel. Pixar, love Pixar. It is my new favorite app that I've been using to create graphics. If you want to have simple video editing, again, I'm gonna share with you guys in a minute how to like piece together your content to repurpose it so that you're doing work once and then you're getting like 30 pieces of content. So if you have little clips of videos that you do, I use InShot, Snapchat, and Filmora is the actual like bigger um, production studio. It's about $80 per um, device that you download it on, but it is definitely worth it. I have it downloaded on two of my laptops right now. Um, <laughs> I'm one of those people that has like a million different laptops, like my travel laptop, my iMac for video. Um, and then I have one that I use primarily for editing. So um, this is a really awesome way. Like look at the, look for these apps. And then Filmora is called Wondershare Filmora. It is a PC, you download it, and then you can use it as a production studio. To create content, um, organizing content is Trello, number one. I use Trello, Trello is life. Your Google Drive, there's also OneDrive, and then there's something called Slack, which is a lot like Trello. Um, this is also really great if you have a team. So for me, I set up my Trello boards, and then when I'm out of the area, or if I have, so I'll set up content 
And then my assistant can come in and literally just copy paste. So all of my content is me, I've created it, but I don't actually have to be here in the moment for my content to go out, right? Like, so this is how I go off the grid for like a week at a time and people don't know because my content is still pumping out. It's still me, it's all my content. I just organize it on my Trello board and then my assistant comes in and she can just put it out. There's also systems where you can um, like schedule your content. You can actually do it through Facebook's content creator platform now. You can schedule content. And um, there's also things like Hootsuite you can use. There's a def couple different apps. If you just look it up in whatever device you have, your Apple store or your Google drive, you will find that. So just know there's a couple different devices where you can actually plan your content out, which is amazing. Content that's best for social media to increase your chances to be seen. So there's no secret that the Facebook algorithm sucks right now, right? I mean, like, let's just be honest. The, con the um, algorithm is horrible. And, um, oh, thank you. Someone just messed me, messaged me and said, we don't see your screen. We can't, we can't see it. So here's that. If you want to take a picture of that or do a screenshot of it, um, go ahead and just do a screenshot of that. All right. Content that's best for social media to increase your chances of being seen. Again, the algorithm is improving on Facebook for um, businesses, especially if you have a product or service that is local, be, be celebrating because they're, they're going toward a better system for us. Okay. So we are lucky that we get to have a little bit better of algorithm, but let me tell you guys, I used to do a live and I would have anywhere from like 700 to 900 watches within 24 hours. Now it's like a hundred if I'm lucky. So just know that the algorithm has decreased also with so many people logging in the saturated market, there is um, your content is also hitting the feed page in the exact same time that lots of other people's are. So just know there are ways to look at your content and be seen more. So I'm gonna share that with you now. What works best? Again, I'm talking about the top big three ones. Okay, so if you wanna know anything about um, let me know in the comments, like uh, TikTok, we, I killed the TikTok algorithm. You guys, I did six different videos, tried six different strategies. And currently right now, this is so lame because, you know, I don't know, TikTok was always like the kid thing, right? But it's actually, it's a great way to grow your business. I right now have 400, I don't know if you guys can see that. I have 419,000 views on a, a video that I posted and left because I was trying to figure out TikTok and how things work. And I literally have um, 4,019 or 419,000 views because I figured out the TikTok algorithm and what works best to be seen. So if you guys want information on that or Clubhouse or um, LinkedIn, let me know. We can, I can do a training about that as well. But for now, I'm gonna talk about the top three that my clients are focusing on which is Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Some of this stuff you might be like, what is that even? If anything I say, you're like, okay, explain this more. Just let me know in the comments. We're gonna pause for question and answer. I can go back and answer those questions. So Facebook, what's performing the best? Stories, number one. It keeps you at the top of everybody's list, right? I have people that are like, I watch your stories every single day because I can't wait to see what you're talking about or what you're doing, where you're at, what's going on, because I, I try and entertain. Stories are a great way to show the, um, your personality, to show behind the scenes of your brand, right? Like even if you're just showing yourself at the computer, like shipping out some, some products or showing yourself, um, guys, I just got the report on the housing market this month, who wants it? You know, like just really like show who you are and show a little bit more of the raw, like unperfect part of you, you know, like things like Instagram have kind of made us think that everything has to be perfect, but people actually love when you're just showing pieces of your life, walking the dog, right? Like you don't have to be on camera all the time. You don't even have to ever be on camera. I have one client that is such an introvert. 
she does not do well on camera. She will do voice memos or she'll be talking into her stories. She loves that, but she will not be on camera and she still has made incredible money online. Live videos. Facebook still loves live videos and you wanna hit a three minute mark. So whatever you're doing, make sure that you're hitting a three minute mark um, as opposed to like stories or reels where you're going like 60, 90 seconds. On Facebook, video because they want people to stay on their platform. Facebook wants their users to stay because then they get more advertising dollars. So they favor when you do longer videos and people stay, they will increase your algorithm right away if your video is over three minutes. And groups, 100% the algorithm favors groups. Facebook favors groups because again, they want people to get connected into a community where they hang out and they spend a lot of time. So Facebook always puts groups above anything else. And it, as you've noticed, when you start getting a certain amount of people, which we intentionally keep our groups small, we actually delete people that are inactive quite often. But if you hit over you know, 3000 people in your group, it starts kicking you up and it starts promoting your group to other people of similar interest. So Facebook will actually start promoting you for, for your group when you start hitting high engagement, lots of interaction and longevity. Instagram, reels, 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 reels. It is all about the reels. Why is Instagram about the reels? Because TikTok blew up during the pandemic. TikTok blew up during the pandemic. What we saw happen was it went from being like, you know, Gen Z's making little dance videos to now every business, every brand, every category is on TikTok or is on, yeah, is on TikTok. So Instagram said, hey, we want to be competitive. We want to innovate. So they created reels. You do not have to dance around and shake your booty to create a reel. Go watch some reels in your industry and check out what they're doing. If you guys want a deeper training on reels, let me know. I can definitely help you with that. So um, Instagram favors reels, consistency, again, stories. That was their, their, um, their match to Snapchat. You know, it has this short little story that only stays up for 24 hours. You can also put those in categories so they stay on your page and engagement. Instagram favors engagement. So here's a rule of thumb that I do. And um, we've built my following on Instagram from, I think I had 800 last August to now almost 6,000, just because I didn't really care about Instagram. But um, I decided to grow that piece and see how, you know, how to do it quickly and how to do it with an authentic, organic following that will actually convert. And um, so what we do is we engage for 50 or I engage for 15 minutes before I post. I'll go through and I'll answer comments. I'll answer questions that people ask. I just engage for about 15 minutes. I post and then I engage for 15 minutes more. If that sounds like a lot of work, don't worry about doing it. Just know that when you do that, when you show that you're engaging with their Instagram's customers, then they will favor you and be consistent. You know, at the very minimum, update an Instagram post, put an Instagram post once every week at the minimum. Just make sure you're being consistent and it will increase your algorithm, which increases your chances of being seen, which increases your reach, which increases your, your cash. YouTube, make sure you're using tags for your niche. So if you don't have like um, Google, AdWords or something like that, just look around at tags or think about tags that are in your niche, like maybe like hashtag mortgage or um, selling online or uh, natural products or Hawaii, you know, whatever that is that's like in your niche, make sure you're using niche specific tags because um, YouTube looks at those tags and then it increases you on the search when you show up for that. So like if I had this training on YouTube, I would put um, a tag like making money online, social media marketing, um, Instagram how to. And so if somebody typed that in, think of, think of YouTube as the new Google, right? 
people go there and they're searching for answers. They're searching for something. And so if I put like, how do I grow my social media? Maybe this video would pop up, right? Like, so make sure you're using those tags. Also on YouTube, if you are creating YouTube videos, make sure you're naming your topic right away because people are going to watch like the first three to six seconds of your video. And so you've got to grab their attention and know that this video is about what you talk about because a lot of people use um, like the bait and switch. It's actually called like clickbait, but maybe they're like how to make a million dollars. And then the video is about like nothing, right? So um, you want to make sure you're like, hey guys, my name is Val Nichols. Today, I'm going to teach you the top four categories on what to talk about in your content creation. And I'm going to teach you a simple method using my power of three. So stay tuned, right? You want to get into it right away. Whereas on other social medias, you can kind of take more time to get to the actual topic. But on YouTube, you want to say it right away, get to the point, have a great headline, and be consistent. Again, if you're trying to build your YouTube, if that's something that's important to you, be consistent and update at least weekly because YouTube's algorithm is looking for that. All right, how to repurpose, repurpose, repurpose. I know this is the piece you all have been waiting for. Repurpose, right? I can take one piece of content, one live that I do, and I can use it all month, all month. So if I'm doing a live, you have an option in your Facebook to save to your device, right? Like when you end your live video, you can save it to your device. You could also use YouTube like I am, or I'm sorry, Zoom like I am now. I'm streaming from Zoom into the Facebook group so that I can share this beautiful presentation with you. And I now have the recording recorded in my Zoom. So I can take snaps and pieces of this. Maybe there's something where I said something that was a cool 30 second clip. I can take short clips. Maybe I put it on a um, a picture with like the audio playing where I'm like, Hey guys, you know, if, if you're a heartfelt passion driven entrepreneur, then I'm the coach for you. If you want to create not only an income, but impact in your business and you're ready to step forward, you're ready to take action. Then the time is now I could take that tiny little clip and edit it out in Filmora or use, um, you know, the in shots that I talked about earlier, create a tiny little clip. You guys will see this a lot on my Instagram. I do like little clips of lives and I put like a pretty pink background and we make it pretty and it, we, we reuse that content. So take short clips of you talking, maybe, um, you know, clapping awards you're getting. Like if you have documentation of that, like maybe you just got a new award at, from your company or um, you hit a sales point, like take clips of that. And then you can post them to your Facebook page, your Instagram, your LinkedIn, your Facebook stories will be like at 15 second intervals. Um, Instagram, you have up to two minutes if you wanna post that. There's also Instagram stories, which are 60 seconds. There's also IGTV, which was something Instagram came out with that was trying to compete with YouTube. It didn't quite work out the way they thought it would, but their reels are working out. And then you can also do now they have YouTube shorts. So if you're on YouTube, definitely take advantage of YouTube shorts. So if you have like a really good nugget in your talk, make sure you're putting that on shorts. You guys, I know from my own behavior, I have followed so many people because I saw their short and I was like, whoa, I wanna watch the whole video. I wanna get more from this person. I wanna see more content. You can also have your, um, if you guys don't have a team, like a virtual assistant or uh, an assistant, you can get your videos transcribed. You can also listen to common things you're saying to clients and create little quotes, right? Like those cute little quotes, like we've created templates with, um, that you can put your quotes on, you can put your brand colors, all those things and use it as your own. So put little quotes of something you say a lot, right? Like, I don't know, um, for me, it's like, um, step into your, step into the be your best life ever, you know, um, building a business should be, should be 
purposeful, should be passionate, should bring you joy, like put a quote in there and post that on your Instagram. You know, like pay attention to the things that clients are telling you. You could do a little testimonial and um, maybe there's something, a comment that someone put in your live video or a comment someone made on one of your posts and you could create a short little quote with that talking about what your client said about you. Like you can repurpose, repurpose, repurpose. You can also create infographs on speeches or, you know, tag your speaker, like tag someone that was a speaker that an event that you saw, tag them in it. Like, Hey guys, I just did this amazing masterclass and Val Nichols said this and tag me in it. Right. That's going to also increase your, your reach because not only are your friends seeing it, but now everybody on my list is going to see that too. And that could get you more clients, right? They're going to be like, what, who's this? Let me check it out. Um, post awards or accomplishments you've had, create buzz and shareable content, right? Facebook especially is all about the shareable content. It's about creating something that someone sees it and they're like, oh, this says something about you and it says something about me. So I'm going to share this information. Be consistent. Number one, and I know this is a hard one for people sometimes. That's why sometimes you want to, um, you know, purchase a, a pre done for you social media content board, or maybe you want someone to just do it for you, like create your content. Maybe you want to buy one of our um, Trello boards that we put together that has content that you can copy and paste, like be consistent. The goal is for your content in your brand to become a part of their weekly routine. Again, this is like the people that say, oh my gosh, Val, every day I look at your stories because I can't wait to see what you create. I become a part of their routine. Think about that. It's kind of like, you know, before the world is the way it is now, you used to have shows, right? Like maybe um, I love Dateline. Please don't judge me. I love Dateline. And so, you know, every, I don't even, they just changed what time it is so, or day. So I don't even know anymore, but it used to be like every Sunday night or Monday night or something. And I would be like, oh, I can't wait till nine o'clock or 10 o'clock on Sunday night. I'm going to watch Dateline, right? Like you, you know, when those shows are, you want your business and your brand and your products to become like that. Like, oh my gosh, Val's going live on Wednesday. I can't wait to see what she does. Even if I can't be there live, I'm going to go back and watch the replay, right? Like you want people to be like, oh, I can't wait for the content. I can't wait for this. And I actually had someone message me earlier in the week. That's like, I want more of your content. And I want to be able to just like binge listen to you. Do you have a podcast? No, I don't yet. I will have a ton of content. I don't have a podcast. I just haven't put my effort in that basket yet. But like that feels good to know that somebody wants to hear my stuff over and over and over. That means that I've created a strong brand and a consistent message, right? So how can you do that? The goal, and if you think of it this way, like the goal is not to sell the product. It's not to pressure somebody. It's not to create icky sales content. It's not to convince anybody. It is literally to become a part of their weekly routine. And when you master that, when you master that piece, you will create wild raving fans that will stick with you for life. They will not only do that, but they will, you know, um, refer their friends. They'll share your messages. They'll share your content and you will be just never worrying about where your next sale is going to come from. All right. Questions. Any questions? Do you have questions? Because I can just sing to you all day long. Questions, questions, questions. Let's see. Uh, I'm not seeing any on my phone. So let me pull you up on my computer. That's me. Ah, uh, Teresa. Yes, 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 yes. I love it. Okay, so I'm not seeing any questions. I will wait for a moment because I know there is a delay. Sometimes our little friend Facebook gives me a little delay. 
So let me know what questions you have. And again, you guys, like I base all of my future trainings off of what you guys tell me here. Like I am so um, into, you know, you make a suggestion, I'm here for it because I want to teach you guys what you need to know. So if there's anything like stories or reels or anything like that you have questions about, um, I can absolutely do a training on that. Um, I was doing coffee clatter or coffee clatter. That's something here in Redmond that's so funny. I was doing um, coffee chats on Mondays, which I may or may not continue doing because now I am doing a, I'm doing a mastermind for female entrepreneurs right now that has just been so incredible. So, so, so incredible. Um, but let me know because this is what I based topics off of in the future. And I do want to share with you guys, if you are feeling like, oh my goodness, I just need somebody to take this piece over, right? Like if you're still feeling this, like, you know, everything I taught you here today, go back and read your notes. If you're a note person, like I am, or if you're like, okay, I need to see it visually and then I need to implement it, right? Like if that's your style, go do it, right? Like don't overthink it too much. Don't like um, get too overwhelmed because you guys, it is simple. It is easy. You do the power of three, you do your four categories, and then you just repurpose, 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 repurpose. Talk about the same topics. Literally like every single time I talk about a topic, I have a different point of view. I say it in a different way. I'm inspired to do something different, right? That's huge for me in my style. Again, you guys like, um, I'm a very like multi-passionate, I have a, a lot of really cool things happening. Like I, I value my time with my, my husband, with my friends in ministry. So like, I'm not just in my business all day. I'm not working in my business as much as I am, as I did like three years ago, right? Like I am not working in my business. I work with my clients. I show up for amazing things like this but like I'm working on my business, right? Because there's a difference between working in your business, working on your business. I'm kind of out of the day-to-day -day at this point, but um, that's because like I get to design this because my content, right? Because of my content. And you guys can absolutely take this information that I've given you and create that, right? Like lather, rinse, repeat. What I do is the very last week of the month. So um, this upcoming week, I'll be sitting down going, okay, so what's my next masterclass? Um, my next masterclass is actually um, making money from your, your Facebook group specifically because I've had a lot of questions about that. Um, I, I did make my first $11,000 in my Facebook group with 200 people in it, right? So like you don't have to have 100,000 people in a group to make money. Um, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that. So that's what I'll be looking at. Like how do I create content around that? right? And then based upon the strategy where I'm going with that, right? Because we all have different goals. My goal will be get people into the Facebook, grow your um, income with Facebook, monetize off your Facebook group. I'll be creating a str uh, strategy around that. Like, okay, how do I entertain, inspire, motivate, um, educate people on making money in their Facebook group with room for my life, you know, because like for me, um, I can't have a strict schedule because I'm a little bit of a re rebel. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I'm showing you guys like a behind the scenes look right now. Like, even if I say, this is why I, if, when I commit, my word is gold. Like you guys know that when I commit, my word is gold. I'm there no matter what. But if I say to myself, like, I'm going to go live every single day for 30 days, it won't happen. Because if it doesn't feel in alignment for me, I'm not going to do it 100%. I literally turned away a client the other day that was like, I'm ready to pay you da 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 because I knew like I knew we were not a good fit. And so I got to refer her to someone else, but I knew in the short interactions we have, because I'm not here to make the money, right? Like, I hope you guys are like, this is landing for you, but if it's not in alignment, we're not going to do it. Right. And so I feel like sometimes that's what happens with social media content. Like you feel like you have to post. You feel like you have to do this launch. You feel like you have to do this, right? And that can feel really heavy. That can feel like, gotta go post on Instagram because you know Val did this masterclass and I have to. I don't want you to feel that way. I don't want you to feel that way. So I am going to, um, I'm not seeing any questions, you guys. If I'm not seeing your questions, just know that I will come back and I'll answer each one.
I will probably even do a live to answer the question if I'm not seeing it just in the rare case that I'm not seeing questions. But, um, you know, so my point in that is that, you know, like, don't make this feel like another thing you have to check off your box or another box you have to check off. As entrepreneurs, you have so much you're doing. If you're a business leader, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, like you're wearing so many hats that I do not want social media or content creation to become another one of those things where you're like, I just don't, I don't even want to go there. I'm avoiding it. I'm like, ugh, the thought of getting on Facebook and like doing the post just really overwhelms me. So we have a couple of options for you guys. And again, this is just, if, if it's a good fit for you, like no pressure, I'm not like here for it. You know, like I'm not here to like convince you, you need it. But if there is, let me share with you guys something that we're doing. So we've had so many people, like I do content creation for my clients, a lot of them. I do graphics, I do content creation. Uh, I create like templates for them to do their posts with. So we've had so much demand for this, right? Like we've had so many people asking us about content creation that we were like, we were brainstorming the other day and um, the other day, it was like a month ago. And my team's like, well, why don't we just create a bunch of templates, right? Like, why don't we just create templates and people can either like have us create their content for them. And then we just send them the calendar, they copy paste, or they can schedule it. Why don't we just create that? Or we can do like what we do with you, Val, and we just have the, the Trello board where we have, you have, I have everything written out. Like each one of the categories, I have either prompts that what you write about, or we literally copy paste, right? They're like, why don't we just offer that as an off project, right? Because we're moving a lot into I love you guys. Like it lights me up to work with my clients. Right. And unfortunately there's only a certain amount of hours in the day where I get to work with my clients because there's only a certain amount of hours I'm, I'm available for that. Right. And so like I am moving, I'm doing a big virtual event tomorrow for someone else. So we're kind of getting into that more, like I'm producing stuff for people. I'm doing large summits to grow their audiences for them. And it's been really fun because I love the creative side. I've been offering um, content creation for people and it has literally just like, it's been so fun. I love the creative piece of it. And it actually never occurred to me to offer this. But what we're doing is we're gonna be offering um, done for you templates. So if you wanna have, I think we have like 50 of them in the package, 50 templates that are ready for you to just, you know, download it, you'll use it on Canva. We've already created all these templates. And then you can just put in your pictures, put in your brand colors, change whatever you want. It's yours. You have it forever. That is one thing that we're offering right now. So if you're interested in that, let me know. Um, we also have Trello boards where we can create your content for you. We also can um, like write specific content for your company and um, be your social media person, right? Like will be creating the content. You don't have to worry about it. We are, we're really good at like getting to know your brand and your, your style, your story and creating content that like really creates the emotion around your brand, which will convert to sales, right? Like that is what people are looking for. I've been doing this forever. I do PR as well for a couple of my clients. Um, just something I, I love that I've never really thought of offering. And, you know, as, so in my business coaching offering, we are doing that, but we're also going to be offering done for you social media. This is something we've had a huge demand for. So I'm super pumped about it because we have so much content. Like I'm literally creating like a membership site with like old programs. And I just, I've created so much, right? Like us creative types, we just get like downloads and downloads and downloads of products and information and stuff. So I have so much stuff that we're creating a membership site for that, where you can just like opt in, right? You can opt in and get um, that, get coaching, be in the community and just kind of go through each one of those trainings. I just spouted out a lot of options, but I just want to let you guys know that is available. So if you're interested in my company doing your content creation for you, let me know. We do have very affordable prices right now. Um, we're doing like the beta run. So we are offering it 
I can't remember the exact price, but it's like, it's like half off of what we are going to be offering for it in the future. We just want to get it up and running. Um, if you want just the templates, let us know. If you want a done for you um, Trello board, let us know. We can also do a um, Google doc if that's easier for you, you know, whatever works for you, we've got it. We also offer, you know, we'll do your content creation, we'll do your launch, we'll do all of that for you. This is me and my team. I don't know if you guys have met Tamara. Um, she's on here every once in a while, you'll see her pop in, but she is amazing. She was one of my clients for years. And then she was like, you know what? I really don't want to be an entrepreneur. I don't want to run my own business. I'm better on a team. And I was like, girl, what? Come work for me. I got you. She is like my right hand woman. She like, we think the same, like she is amazing. And she'll be helping with that a ton. She will be, um, you know, diving into that and being very committed to your brand. And then also like, I'll be helping with that content creation as well, because it lights me up. So if you're interested in that, I would love for you guys to, you know, let me know in the comments, reach out. We'll get you, um, our packages because we do have several different packages. And if you are all in on this, if you're like, Val, I want to learn, I want to grow, I want to know how to make a, a reel, I want to know how to really dive into this stuff because what you're telling me is what I want, right? Like I want to be able to articulate well what I do because I know what I do and what I offer. Like it helps people, right? Like I remember thinking that for so long. I was like, I can give people amazing results. I can like literally, you know, like in the corporate world, I like, we went from, I worked in a senior living, like a very high end senior living community. And we went from 58% occupancy. And this was like people at a minimum were making, you know, they were paying 7,000 a month at a minimum high end, right? So we went from 58% occupancy to hundred percent occupancy in six months. I more than like tripled their income. Cause I found places where they were not charging for certain services and things were falling off the board. So, um, you know, like I know I can get people results, but how did I like actually articulate that online to get the right people in my business? Right. Because when I first started out, oh my gosh, I was just sharing this with one of my clients earlier because she just got her first business client. Um, she does other business, like other stuff, but she just got a business coaching client. And I was like, can I share with you? And hopefully it doesn't sound like cold hearted, but I want to share with you some of the mistakes I made that I, I don't want you to make because it feels really horrible. It feels horrible to not charge enough. It feels horrible to get in a contract with someone that you're not aligned with. It feels, it doesn't feel good when you create a, you spend all your time creating a strategy and then that person takes it and goes and tries to do it themselves or they will go hire someone cheaper and then they're not going to get the results, right? that doesn't feel good. So we talked about that, you know, like when you're, sh when you're first coming online, like how do you actually articulate that? Right. If any of you feel like that, let me know because it feels very vulnerable to say that, but you know, like this is the truth. I ended up, um, gosh, you know, I hit my first $11,000 a month in July of 2019, 18, 2018. And then I kept just going up and up and up. And by September that year, I was looking around at my business like, I don't even like some of my clients. I'm stuck in a contract and I am bringing the wrong people into my business. I was spending a lot of time on calls with people who were like, I can't afford it. Um, I like, can you give me a discount? And I was like, what? Are you kidding me? Right? Like that does not feel good when you know that like, you're not just buying you know, coaching from me, you're not buying an hour slot, you're buying like my 15 years of experience working with companies like T-Mobile and Nike and the NBA. And I'm going to show you the strategies. I'm going to teach you like big picture. I'm going to teach you how to get results, right? Like that does not feel good when someone says, oh, can you just do that for cheaper? Right? Like, does that ever happen to any of you guys? Not fun, not a good thing. So if you're like, yeah, I want to get out of that. And I want to attract the right people. I want to bring the right people in my business who have the means, the motivation and the money. I'm here for it. I'm ready. Let's do this. I do want to share with you guys. I am doing something that I have not done ever in my life, which I'm so freaking excited about. 
so freaking excited about. Things are definitely shifting and innovating for me right now. Like our company's going through another big stretch where we're like, wow, this is so awesome and fun. And so what I want to offer you is a masterclass. This is a social media mastery course. So you'll have a course you'll get, um, you're going to have like everything you need. Like I'm going to teach you Instagram, how to um, do your reels. Like we're going to sit down. I'm going to show you like, this is how you do music. This is how you offer this. This is how you do this. This is how you clip your videos. All of those things. This is a social media mastery course. You're going to learn all the things. Plus I'm going to offer 12 months of continual support. So you'll get Q and a calls with me every single month, plus the training, the whole 12 months. And you guys, this is usually like, I don't know, eight, $10,000 to do something like this. But since we're, we're reframing and we're shifting, we want to offer it for, um, gosh, how much should we say? We're offering it for discount. If you're watching this right now, like celebrate, you're going to get in for insane. And we're going to be offering it for like $8,000 for the year. However, we want to get people in. We want to get people going. We want to get people in that system so that we can start teaching you guys like exactly. Plus you're going to get the 12 months of support. And this is going to be for 888 right now. And we're going to offer that until, um, the end of the month, which is the 30th. So if you guys want in, you're gonna get like a huge insane discount. We're also gonna be giving you templates. Like we've created templates in there that you can just download, um, put your content on, put your colors on, and we are gonna show you. We also have experts that are coming in. Like I've hired people to come in and train you on um, building your YouTube following. Cause that's not something I teach. I don't know how, but I have a woman that will like help you build your, or get monetized in six months. I have people that are coming in that are teaching you like time management skills for entrepreneurs, right? Like teaching you all of the things and you're going to get the course. So you'll be going through the course and getting all the content. I'll be teaching you everything you need to know about content creation and of course, updating it as new things happen. Like now we have, um, we have clubhouse, we have Instagram reels, we have all the things, right? So we'll be updating you, teaching you anything you need to know the tech side of things because I'm really good at the tech side of things, which, you know, not everyone is. I've just spent so many hours learning it on my own so that I can teach it. So if you want to join that, you're going to get the entire course plus 12 months of ongoing support where you will have trainings from me. You'll have trainings from experts that will help you answer specific questions that I don't necessarily teach because I don't pretend to know it all. I don't know it all. Um, I'm not huge into YouTube, so I found someone that is. I'm also going to have copywriters come in, people that are going to help you tweak your copy so that it speaks really well, right? Like, I love to be authentic in my copy. You will also see spelling errors in my copy because I'm just authentic in the moment. I don't care. I really don't care. Like, whatever my brain works that way because I have ADHD. Like sometimes like my thoughts are quicker than my actual, like it being communicated. Right. So if you're interested in that, I would love for you to join. It is only 888 and you get the entire year access. You guys, this is insane. You're going to spend the whole year with me in a mastermind, being in the space, learning how to master your content. This is a social media mastery. If you're here for it, let me know. Um, we also have opportunities to be an affiliate for that. So if you, you get in and you love it, you can also invite your friends to like a free mastermind and make money doing it. Like it's incredible. I have some clients that are affiliates for me and they're making like $3,000 like a month by referring so if you're interested in that, let me know. No pressure. We have a lot to offer right now. Like we're literally like July is going to be crazy because we just did a new website. You guys, I don't know if you checked it out, but like my new website, it used to be pink and white. And now we've gone a little bit darker. Like it's pretty, it's, it's like black and like really like gold. And it's just really, it's really pretty. It's a different feel for us, but it's, it's really pretty. So we just launched a new website. Um, we're offering done for you social media. We're offering templates. We're offering um, 
you know, Trello boards with your content. We're offering the, um, this mastermind where you will be with me for 12 months. I'm so excited. If you are, want to come join, let me know. It's going to be so fun. You will be in there with 12 months support and the entire course. So let me know how you guys feel, what you're doing this weekend. I love you. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you got a ton out of this masterclass. It is going to be, you guys, like the future is so freaking bright. I was literally, I'm collaborating with this guy um, on a project we're working on. And we were talking about how, you know, like the, the knowledge-based industry, the online space is, it's gold. It is literally the gold mine right now. And so like, why not get in on it? If you're spending time on social media anyway, like create your content, go all in, do the things, show up in your leadership, invite people towards you and invite people into your offers because why not? Right? Like, I know there's a lot of mindset that goes behind that, but like you are powerful, you are abundant and honey, there is no stopping you now. There's no stopping you right now, because if you're the type of person that will take this information, take action, go all in now, then what's going to happen is the sky is the limit. The sky is the limit for you. I love you guys. Feel free to reach out with me to me with any questions. You can email me at val at valnichols.com. You can also go check out my new website. It's going to be beautiful. And we um, keep your eye on this space. Keep your eye here because we have so much fun stuff happening during the summer. Um, we're kicking off this mastermind, the social media mastery. So if you want in, go ahead and take action now because we it'll be open until the 30th of June and then the price will go up. So I love you guys. Thanks for joining me. Mwah. Have a beautiful weekend. Bye.